Hello everyone, welcome to NeuroSapiens. In today's tutorial, we'll look at the Python string method replace. In Python, the replace method returns a copy of the string with all incursions of the old substring replaced by the new. Now, there's an optional argument count. If this is given, only the first count occurrences are replaced. So the syntax here is your string object followed by the dot replace method, and then it accepts three arguments. One is your old substring, one is the new substring, and then the optional argument count. Now count here, if specified, only the first number of occurrences that is given are replaced. So the string that we'll work with here is this fav length variable, and the string is my favorite language is this. So after running the cell, we have the output, my favorite language is this. Now. To replace the old word here, so we want to replace this with the word Python. And to do that, we can just have a print statement and for the favlang variable, use the replace method. So our old word is this, and our new word here is going to be Python with a capital P. And if you run this, you then have a string output. My favorite language is Python. So we've we replaced the old word this with this new word Python. Now in Python, strings are immutable. So the fav length variable above, the original sentence remains unchanged after running the print statement with replace. So if we print the value for the fav length variable, we'll see that this is the original sentence which remains unchanged. All right, so my favorite language is this. And so to actually modify and capture this, we can create a new variable. So new fav language equals to fav underscore lang dot replace. And we'll place the list with the word Python. And now if we print this new variable, we then get two different strings. So one is the original, my favorite language is this. And the new string here, my favorite language is Python. Now looking at the optional count. So the optional count argument, this count is a number of occurrences which will be replaced in the string with the new word specified where there is a match with the old word. So to see how this works, we can print using the same string as above, favoring. If we're just trying to replace the letter A with the letter B and we specify the count, if we pass in zero, if zero, this will mean no occurrences are actually replaced. So running this, you see that the string is unchanged compared to our original string here. If however, we pass in one, you'll see that what this does is the first occurrence of the letter A is replaced to the letter B. And so the first occurrence there, A for favorite is now changed to B. And this can be for any number of occurrences. So if we change this to two, you will see that this means the first two occurrences of the letter A actually is replaced to B. So that means A for favorite is changed and then A for language is also changed. And so that's what we have here as output. The last string here, the first two occurrences of A is modified. For the second string only the first A that is encountered is modified in the first string where we specified zero, no occurrences is changed. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click the notification bell for weekly videos. Please share the video with anyone who you think would benefit from the content and comment below what topics you would like to learn. If you would like to support this channel and have the means to do so, the best way will be via my Patreon link in the description below. Happy learning and I'll see you in the next tutorial.